So here we are going to learn a little bit on program flow, right? Program flow, right? So in particular, we are actually going to learn about the if else statement. And what is the if else statement? Basically, with an if else statement, we can come up with um, certain conditions where if certain conditions are met then a particular result will surface whereas if other conditions are met then something else will happen let's say for example we can see um, um, let's say we have a scenario where we want to submit assignment right so there are a few questions that we can ask with regards to this, whether we can actually still submit our assignment. For example, uh, is the date deadline due, right? Meaning to say that, let's say for example, if you need to submit by the 31st of January and today is, this, is the 3rd of uh, February, then that will mean that the deadline is already due and you cannot submit right if for example right if yes then you cannot submit if no meaning not yet you can still submit right and as you can imagine, with this particular flow of program, it opens up even more possibilities for us. Because then we can say, you know, if the user does this, uh, this is how you should respond. If the user does that, then this is how you should respond. And this gives a lot of options with regards to results. Meaning to say that results, the result that is that the program is going to give the user is also dependent on how the user actually reacts to prompts by the program right so again i say it gives us a lot of options right so let's have a look at this um example given here right and i have certain things highlighted which are the things with regards to input right so i'm just gonna de-highlight them right so the first line here is for importing it is for the purpose of getting an input right so we have that header file and then as as usual we declare a class main class public class right and then this is our our module right so we have one line here where we initiate the uh, we, we declare and initiate the variable called input is a scanner type variable right then a simple output uh, just to welcome the user to Java programming, right? And then a line that is actually not necessary. You, I don't really have to have this line. This is from a previous previous uh, program, right? So the the program will then prompt the user to input a number, right? Enter an integer, right? So the next part is to commit that input by the user into the variable into the box into the integer box which otherwise is called a variable right we say we commit the input to the variable called number right so number will now number is a is a box an integer type box and it will have a value which is the one entered by the user here right then we check whether the number can yield a zero when divided by 2. What does that mean? It means that we can divide it by 2 without having a remainder. This is to say that if the number is an odd number and we divide it by 2, we'll, we'll always have a remainder of 1. Whereas if the number is an even number, we divide it by 2, the remainder will be 0, meaning to say that it will be divided cleanly. An example, if we divide 8, by 2, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 and there's no remainder, where remainder. whereas if we divide 9 by 2, 9 divided by 2 is also 4 
but with a remainder of one, which makes it an odd number. So this is a simple checking, right? We just check, we do a logical check of whether the number divided by two will yield any kind of remainder. If the remainder is zero, then it is an even number. Else, it is an odd number, right? So we'll have a look at how that pans out. It's a really simple program, really, right? Have a look at that here, right? Uh, there are a few lines that have already been edited out here, which is the side is equal to three, right? So if we run this program, the system, the program will first have the welcoming line, welcome to Java programming here, right? And then the prompt that says enter an integer. So I'm just going to enter an integer, for example, 91, right? Which is an odd number. And then we'll do the processing, which is this part here, right? So 91, and then I just press enter. The processing is done immediately. And this the program will then know that there's a remainder of one and hence this particular output will be apparent for the user 91 is an odd number right so that is the one of the simplest 